a book about friendship, culture, and baseball. Matt De La Pena is a New York Times bestseller who won seven young adult novels that include Mexican White Boy. Matt went to San Diego State University where he receives his FMA in creative writing and then his BA from University of the Pacific. There he attends school playing basketball. He fell in love with sports when he was a little kid. Currently, Matt De La Pena lives in California where he teaches creative writing. I fell in love with writing, but I fell in love with just literature and the things that could do to people's emotions. I think one of the biggest things I do consciously is I try to find an entry point that will appeal to a reluctant reader. But hopefully once a reader enters the novel, they're gonna find the bigger things that I'm trying to do, the bigger things, working with class, working with racial identity. Part of the reason I couldn't connect with a lot of books is because I felt like I didn't belong to that world. And so I felt like I was excluded. I was part of a, a different group. And so my goal as a writer is to, in my books, give those kids like me and my cousins a place to feel sort of at home. Those of you who are reluctant readers, I didn't fall for school right away. I, I had other things that interested me, like sports. For setting in Mexican White Boys National City, California, where most time is spent on the baseball fields or on the block. The importance of the baseball field setting is Danny makes friends, but also makes enemies that build up a great novel. Not just that, it gave him the opportunity to learn more about himself. Danny, the main character, is someone who is struggling with an identity crisis. He is half Mexican, half white, and it makes him struggle to fit in. Once everyone finds out that his mother was white and he came and speaks Spanish, they begin to treat him differently. Danny being that half white makes him believe the reason his father left to Mexico was because of that reason. Another main character in the story is Uno. He is a black Mexican who also has the same identity problem as Danny. While playing baseball, Danny is extremely better than every, every other player on the field and Uno was not happy about that. For a large portion of the book, Danny and Uno have a big problem with each other. As the novel develops, more Danny and Uno both face a conflict that brings them together to an unexpected friendship. Some main themes that come throughout the story is friendship. Each character in the book had some sort of issue with their family. The friendships that were formed were a necessity to help each character through their problems. Another theme not as large as friendship is family. Family is important for the character's development in the story. The key ideas of Mexican white boys, friendship and family. An unexpected friendship is one of the main plots in the story. Danny and Uno both hated each other till they were both faced with an unexpected conflict. Danny's hatred towards his father also builds up throughout the book to be a main plot. One of the entire chapters in the book was a letter towards Danny's father explaining how good he did without him in his life. The letter was explaining Danny's hate towards his father. An important symbol is the letters Danny write, wrote to his father. Letters written to his father sort of make it seem like Danny is living the perfect life without him. And it's intended to make his father jealous. The letters also remind the reader that Danny is fatherless and each letter builds around the life he is currently living, almost as, it's a, as if it's a summary. I recommend Mexican White Boy as a book you should read because the characters are likable and it's an easy plus interesting book to read. If you're someone who likes sports, Mexican White Boy is perfect as it's centered around baseball. If you're someone who's also interested in cultural books, Mexican White Boy is also perfect for that.